morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is working. Yeah, there we go. I've I've sussed I've sussed sussed my um what do you call it? <laughs> so for you here lots of me moving my mouse around and just getting the pages okay so I can see the chat and if anyone's here. We've got a sideways view or I can have a over the top view. <laughs> so good morning, good morning, good morning. I think yeah, I is alive. I am live and I've got a cup of tea so you might hear me slurping on my tea as well. <laughs> good morning. Let's wait for a few people to get here. I know it's Monday morning. Um <laughs> It's Monday morning and it's December and it's dark and it's cold and I'm painting Christmas. I said I should have Christmas carols in my playing in the background but I'm not organised to that and it's still really early and I didn't want to wake up this morning. <laughs> um, if you joined me last time we painted these poinsettias and um, morning Lisa, I painted the poinsettias and um, yeah, painted the poinsettias and what else did I do? Then I ended up doing a few little bits and pieces. Then I was like practicing some gouache, um, to call them my peonies. And then I did my Santas, but I haven't put faces on them. I thought I'd do those on the computer so I can put different faces on them <laughs> so they can be happy and sad. And, and then I started doing some, some, um, yeah. They're the base, the bases. I was using up my paint that I had for um, some more peonies things, but I don't like the colour. It's like really dull. I was trying to get it a bit brighter. These are a bit brighter, which are nicer. Morning, Menny. Good morning. I was just trying to put up my um, other camera so it's a bit higher. So bear with me a minute if you hear clonking, and I, I've got it all balanced on stuff. <laughs> Because I wanted to, like, so I can do two scenes now. As soon as I've got... There we go. You can see me in my tea. Hi. <laughs> I didn't know whether that was any better. I know some people like sideways shots. Some people like over-the-top shots. So I thought I'd flip it between... Flip it between... Oh, I don't know which is the best way to do it. That way, that way. So if I'm a bit snuffy this morning, I've got a bit of a cold and a sore throat. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so I'll flip between the scenes as I'm doing it. Hi, Suzanne. Yeah, I think there's a, like a nice angle you can like see everything, but you can't really see if you know what I mean. You can see, but you can't see. So this morning I was going to paint some um, oh, what are they called <laughs> roses. Oh, it's one of those mornings today. I'm not feeling quite with it. I was going to paint some roses, Christmassy roses. I thought I'll fill in this bit. These pink bits you can see here is just where I had the bases of the Father Christmas's faces and it just transferred over but we don't worry about things like that like we don't worry about smudges and blobs and things because this is just my sketchbook and I can paint over things when I'm using gouache and the most the most colours I'm going to be using are these acrylic gouache sort of paint that dries matte because I like quite like them because you can draw into them I'm just trying to get away from watercolour for a little bit if you know what I mean yeah sorry I'm just gonna drink my tea otherwise I'll be like I might have to stop to blow my nose <laughs> things like that mm. Mm. this is such a nice cup of tea I don't want to stop drinking it you can hear me guzzling <laughs> Right, anyway, this is my gouache, gouache, gouache. Uh, this is like the watery gouache. But the thing is with these, these, you can't, um, once they're dry, you can't reconstitute recon them. Is that the right word? But as with, um, like the Winsor & Newton designer gouache, you can re-wet them and use them, keep using them. I think that's what made me in there, so I don't want to muddle them up. Otherwise, I won't be able to use my palette. <laughs> so I might, I don't know. I'll see what I do. I'm just going to start painting, otherwise I'll just be here forever explaining what I'm doing and not actually achieving anything. Which is something I do quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, I like matte acrylic better. 
shiny that shiny really plasticky acrylic it's nice when i'm doing quite big painting sometimes but i've really gone off it I, i've got this really tiddly little brush i don't want the tiddly brush got a nice a nice um a bigger brush for doing roses this one might work so i was thinking the flat thing might <laughs> I don't know. i'm just gonna start painting anyway i'm gonna use what's on here which i think i don't know it might be a mixture of I think I've used a mixture of everything on here. I think there's watercolour, gouache, um, acrylic gouache, everything like that. So um, I'm not... <laughs> Hi, Tanya. <coughs> good. We like matte finish. And I like that I can pencil crayon over the top. That's a good... Yeah, this bird penciled over the top and on the Santa's face. I've done it as well, so yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dave. <laughs> so I'm gonna paint. Some, try. And, oh, I'm gonna try and paint some roses anyway. <laughs> Christmas roses. You know, I hate painting roses. I I I panic when I paint them, but I've been practicing. <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I've got no idea. I'm just like roughly putting in. That's what I like about acrylic-y, gouache -y, whatever. You can paint over the top. So it's not like watercolour. You don't have to be so precious. And you can correct mistakes and um, just do, do stuff. <laughs> you can correct things. and um, These are buds, by the way. I've got like an idea of like a little little um thing here thing little thing <laughs> a little um what you call it? a bouquet that's the word i know i want some white so i'm going to stick some white in somewhere i don't i don't think these were like pinks i was mixing down here but i think i must have used acrylic gouache here so it's not coming up but it is in that corner that's weird maybe i'll just like mix everything together you know me <laughs> I quite like this palette it's got like, like lovely colours on it um, what's that Dave can you watercolour over acrylic gouache or does the water have no nothing to sink in? you can watercolour over acrylic gouache it doesn't sink in like paper sometimes that cheapy gouache it does I use watercolour and gouache all mixed up together so it does but you won't get because most watercolours translucent, so it will show what's underneath it. So there we go. <laughs> Hope that makes sense. Have a go. Experiment. You don't have to. Um, I find like artists, um, a lot of artists set themselves too many rules, or there are too many like rules, or you can't mix oil and acrylic paint together. No, they don't like mixing together, but. On my paintings, I use a mixture of oil and acrylic, um, especially in my Mitzi B ones, it has everything. It has spray paint, acrylic paint, <coughs> oil paint, oil pastel, normal pastel, watercolour, and I just stick everything on there, experiment, you know. You don't have to um, stick to the rules. So, so I squatted a massive lump of... Um, <laughs> let me let me change the scene for a bit as I can <laughs> make use of this yeah I've got a massive lump of um white stuff white stuff white paint there and um and uh, it's I'm not going to use it all I'm going to have to find something to use it no I was just trying to catch the highlights of the petals it's probably going to look more like um I don't know peonies I've been painting too many peonies lately. <laughs> I need to put my water over here so I don't keep um, putting my arm across. What what scene do you like best? The on top scene or both of them? I can um, I'll flip between each one. I've got some really ghastly greens here. I think they're like oh, I haven't used this palette for a while, so um, it's gonna. I did spray it with um, water. It would help it wasn't balancing. I'm, I'm terrible at balancing things. <laughs> <clears throat> I 
Yeah, just remember with acrylic gouache, you can't gouache, gouache, <laughs> acrylic gouache, you can't um, reconstitute it. So if you um, stick it out on your palette and then leave it to dry, you won't be able to like reactivate it again because it will go no, no, no. That's it. It's like just treat it like acrylic paint, really, but it's matte. So I'm using a mixture of stuff here. So this this is a leaf, <laughs> just in case you wondered. It will look nice when I finish. Let's do another leaf there, cover up that pink splodge. It's nice because you can paint over the top of it. I always get confused because you can paint dark and then paint light on top with gouache. After practicing so much with watercolor for, or painting with watercolor for a long time, you um, forget these things. But it doesn't matter how you paint, just paint. And this is a really horrible green. <laughs> Um, let's do, and this is a horrible brush as well. I don't know why I'm just doing. I tend to like stick with one thing, and I won't be beaten. I'm like, yeah, it's a horrible brush, but yeah, I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> Go challenge, challenge yourself for something. Oh, I hope I'm not gonna get a full blown cold. I'm just like. <laughs> at the snotty stage and then this morning I've woken up and I've got a bit of a sore throat and I'm like no so excuse my sniffling it's my son's fault he's got a nasty cold <laughs> blame him anyway they look like roses <laughs> I need to add some dark in that's why I'm just waiting for it to dry <laughs> I'm going to change brushes because I don't like this brush. I'm going to have a, a round brush. This is just a cheap um, round nylon bristle brush, which um, puts up with a lot of abuse, especially the way I treat brushes. Now I was going to paint some berries and things, but I wanted to paint some like white dish berries, but I think I'm going to paint them cream. <laughs> you know. I've got too much paint on my brush. Oh, that's my nice little brush. I found it. Look, I like this one. This is like a really strong bristly brush too. And it's got, because I'm doing quite small things. I don't really like little twee brushes, but that one works quite well. I might change to that one actually. This is my gouache painting brush. Some berries in and then um, I might do a few more leaves and things. I'm gonna add quite a bit of white on top of these so these are supposed to a bit look a bit like those snow snowberries. <laughs> I don't know any sort of white berries. I might add some no I don't want to add the red berries because um, they take away from the roses. That red's not very nice is it? I'm stop I'm trying to paint if I put you paint in the direction that the petals go and the brush strokes then um, it sort of works <laughs> you can get the brush, brush strokes working to your advantage can you hear the birds singing you can hear the blackbird Uh, I've got black here and I never know whether to add it to. I always think it dulls things down, but if I want a darker red, that's the way to go. Make a nice shade of darker shade. Now, this looks like a peony, this one, but it's a rose. Honest. <laughs> it's because I've been painting peonies all the time. <laughs> Yeah, that's it's confusing as well, especially when you're flipping between the, the two many. Yeah, gouache dries darker and watercolour dries lighter. <laughs> oh, the things you have to remember. I want like a light yellowy green. Some yellow here. I think this is just a watercolour over here. 
Oh, you can't even see anyway, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> this one, I think this is just... Oh, no, it might be gouache, actually. It feels like gouache. It's got that nice creamy... I just want, like, a bright green in your face. Citrusy, nasty green. But I like that green. It's my favourite green. <laughs> I'm just, uh, you can just build up layers of the colour. I can stop before you put another sort of layer on the top you should wait for the under one to dry but I haven't because I'm impatient and just keep just keep painting see what happens <laughs> Oh, I don't know, Dave. <laughs> Dave says, what happens if at drying when gouache palette is mixed with watercolour on drying dark oil? I think the gouache takes over, personally. I just I just mix it all together, but um, that's just the way I paint. So, um, oh, that, that's berries going the wrong way. They were supposed to be coming out that way. Not. <laughs> I'm going to have to add some more. I was painting upside down then. That often, often happens to me. I can like paint, <laughs> paint it upside down. What was I doing? I was doing it with my um, my granddaughter. She was drawing one side of the table, and I was sitting opposite her, so I was drawing upside down. And then when I came to draw something, I was drawing like for some work. I started drawing it upside down. It's sort of like stuck in my head, like the upside down drawing. It's like writing backwards for a lot of time. I could like just write backwards. <laughs> I got stuck at writing backwards. It's weird. Don't ask me how. <laughs> it's a hid hidden hidden party trick, I think. Let's just do some little leaves around. I'm just building up layers. I don't know if this is gonna work. This is my Christmas book. <laughs> I've painted some uh, watercolour roses, Christmassy roses. I don't know if I've got these at home to show you. And I have put them on my. Oh, I'm just getting up out my seat, leaving you. <laughs> I just, I've put them up on my website uh, for sale. These, they're watercolour roses. <laughs> so it won't all fit in with it, no. Hopefully. <laughs> Love with my dark paintings. I've got Michelle Kroll Art. If you go on there, not michellekroll.com. It's michellekrollart.com. So I've started a new website because it's cheaper. Because the one I was on was just ridiculously expensive. So um, I'm slowly changing it all over to a new one. Can't be paying like 40 quid a month. It's just ridiculous, as I like to say. So I've changed it to a cheaper one with a shop for half the price. So I was like, yes, no brainer really. Pick that one. I think that it was with Shopify. And I'm supposed to be able to um, sell my stuff direct from YouTube as well. But I don't know, it's like really confusing to set up. And my brain just doesn't cope with that. <laughs> Please someone to come and do it for me. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you, Lisa. Says they look vintage. That was that was my sort of go. Whenever I paint gouache, um, it always turns out vintagey. I think it's just the nature of the paint. It's like my Santa is in gouache. He looks like vintagey. Whenever I paint Christmas things, they always look vintage. <laughs> it's um, I don't know. It's just something that happens. I I just think gouache and vintage <laughs> my, my berries of um, my yellow blobs as they look at the minute have them let me change direction so you can can you see you can see the texture and it's that way can't we 
look. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to, sorry, my coughing and splattering this morning. I'm going to add some shading and whatnot. If you see me put my little finger down, it's because I'm trying not to stick my arm in the wet painting. I just like to build up layers of it. Oh no, Menny, that's my um, that's my other art, <laughs> my Mitzi B art. It's um, Michelle. I, I haven't sent you the links. I'm terrible, aren't I? I just leave you, leave you hanging most of the time. <laughs> Sprinklings on you. This is my only spanner. <laughs> um, it's Michelle Kral Art dot com. <laughs> The Mitzi B one is my other art, which has got my other art on it, which I'm, I've, um, I'm trying to, it's, it's difficult having two channels, but I'm trying to do my other art on there as well now, so I might be doing some lives on that one. <laughs> <coughs> I just like to keep you on your toes, mainly. <laughs> I need to add some more highlights, but I'm waiting for it to dry. Maybe I should get my dryer, my dryer out for a bit. You can see how wet it is, especially at that angle. <laughs> yeah, this one, the Mitzi B one is for <laughs> the Mitzi B art is for this art, my dogs and things. Remember? Oh my god, my the camera's all back to front, and I don't know how to do it. So, what I'm doing then? <laughs> Yeah, I haven't even put the link in the um, YouTube titles yet, so it's got my old one, but my old one's still there. But um, it hasn't got stuff for sale on it. But I've got my Etsy shop, which hasn't got much in it either, and then I'm moaning that I'm not selling much, but it's because I haven't put anything up for sale, as usual. <laughs> I'm terrible, I never put anything up. I've got so many paintings, and I just never put them up for sale. I don't know. I think I'm sad that I don't want them to go. No. <laughs> I get attached to them. Especially my Mitzi B ones. Um, I put so much, like, it's got so much of me in them. Whereas these sort of paintings is just like, yeah, okay. Loads of people paint like this. It hasn't got, like, meaning. Well, I suppose it has got meaning in it, but it's got, it's just generic flowers, that generic for the Christmas. But um, my other art, I put lots of me into it and feelings and things like that. So um, it's more, a bit more precious, I think. Oh, it has meaning more, so I don't want to get them. See, this hasn't dried. I'm going to get my dryer. I've got it here. Excuse me a minute. <laughs> <clears throat> if I was painting these in watercolour, I'd be finished by then. <laughs> gouache, gouache painting is time consuming. Hi Sharon! <laughs> yeah, you made it! <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Let me go back to this view so you can have got more of a, a view view. I don't know which is the best camera actually. My phone, the sideways one is my phone. Because um, it doesn't make magic now. I can just connect to it. I don't need any wires or anything. It's cool. And I'm finally glad I made it work. All last week I was like, why isn't it working? So I had two angles. I can't do the face on ones where you see me. Because my new computer, I've just got a Mac Mini. I haven't got like the Mac, the iMac anymore where it used to have a front facing camera. So you won't see me. <laughs> It's a, it's a good thing or bad thing. I know you like 
some people like to see me chat every now and then. I might t turn the camera around, have it in my face a few times just to um, catch up. You just have to talk to my hands. Ah, oh, mainly it's cool. Her eyes, I can't remember. What I don't think I took a picture of that one. I must have a picture of it somewhere. You have to have a pic take a picture of it and then um, send it me. I did that so long ago, that painting. Many bought a painting of me <laughs> from when I did like yonks ago. I like that word, yonks. Yonks is a good word. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my square brush, flat brush. Just to add some highlights on the, um, the, uh, what's it called? The rose petals. <laughs> I'll try to, and I've got too much paint on my brush. I've got too much paint. I'm not the, the person that, like, can't be stingy with it, so I'm just like, I've got too much paint and if you just do this like dry brushing it gives a nice effect it's supposed to anyway sometimes I've got too much too much paint <laughs> they look like roses or peonies I think I've got like peonies stuck in my head because I'm just like doing it from my brain pictures <laughs> rather than actually having something a picture of a rose up in front of me I tend to like stick to what I've been painting I don't know if that makes any difference <laughs> I don't know a bit of highlight on the see I'm being very precious aren't I Remember, it dries darker. That's the other thing. You can't get white, white highlights. That's what I like about watercolour. When you leave the paper showing through, you get the nice whiteness of the whiteness. And it looks light and airy. With gouache, it is like blonk. <laughs> I have trouble making it look light and airy, I think. I, it comes with practice. I'm not a practised person with gouache, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to make a, a shadow colour. Normally in... Um, watercolour I'd make like a a grey colour but I don't know if it's going to work with gouache <laughs> so I'm just going to see that's too dark <sighs> I'm, I'm not good at putting white in with stuff I mean when you're painting with gouache you have to add white or black white to lighten to make a like a different tint of the colour and black to make a different shade, a darker shade. Now I've gone too dark, but does that look all right? I think it does make shades, shades, shade, a shade, a shadow, where it would be going. Just trying to make them look a bit rounder. I, think it's a, I still think it's a bit dark. I might go over it. If you hear snoring again, it's not me, it's the dog. He was doing a proper snore last night, that, like um, snoring and then whistling. <laughs> I thought, do dogs actually do that? Apparently they do. Yes, yeah, Sharon, what are you doing up at that time? <laughs> I know I catch all the insomnia insomnia God, I can't even say it you know what I mean <laughs> insomnia necks why am I can't say it right <laughs> people who can't sleep <laughs> sometimes I feel like I'm that woman on um the Vicar of Dibley that always got her words wrong. Like constipated washing up liquid and things like that. <laughs> I 
My mum said that once, I thought that was quite funny. I'm just adding a bit more red to these petals in my um, attempt to make them look a bit more like roses. Well, doesn't matter, does it? Whether it's a peony or a rose. Oh, yeah, they're rose. Peony roses. You can get peony roses. <coughs> yeah. A bit happier with that. A bit more white over the top just to um, make that nasty shadow green that I made go away. <coughs> they look like berries, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, they're snowberry things. I know they're supposed to have a little end. Oh, they look so nice when I painted them in watercolour. <laughs> Maybe I should do some watercolour Christmas. I did so many watercolour Christmas videos last year like so many Christmas roses and robins and things. Go back and look if you want some. <laughs> I might put them up, re, re put them up. Is that the word? Yeah, re put them up. Re <laughs> reschedule them to um, come up, which is an idea actually. Because I've got more people who watch and uh, YouTube does like a pre-recorded video. All these lives I do, <laughs> I still don't get many views. Well, I know I do it on like a stupid time, but um, even on playback, um, I don't get any views. But if I put a pre-recorded video up, it gets, I think it gets shown more. So I'm starting to do that. Oh, look, there's a really bright pink there. I don't really want that, but I wanted to add a little highlight on this. Around the edge of this one, does it show? I've got, I've got into scribbling mode. <laughs> that works. <laughs> yeah. I think I've nearly done. I don't like the leaves, but then I never like the leaves I make, but then when I come back to them, I go, oh yeah, actually, it's not bad. So I'm leaving it. <laughs> there. I think I'm done. That, like, covers up the mess. <laughs> that was on that page. Do you want a close-up? Yeah. Manual zoom. Sorry the light's not that because it's so dark here. I've got three, like, um, proper studio lights on but it's still dark <laughs> i never know if to have a white background or not whether that makes a difference but um but then it sometimes it doesn't show up properly <laughs> oh dave yeah any plans to do my live yes you have to join my other channel <laughs> I've, I've split up my channels because um, whenever I did like my abstract Mitzi B art on this channel, I lost people because most people come here to watch my watercolours, where well, it used to be the other way around. So I've started off on another channel that's got lo it's got loads of my videos on it, all my Mitzi B one, it's Mitzi B, I think, <laughs> I think that's what it is. <laughs> if you get it so it'll be over on that one so go and subscribe to that one and um i have to be like two people like split it up because it just confuses people otherwise they come and think oh yeah she's going live and she's gonna paint ah oh, she's not painting my lovely watercolor flowers you know so i get that so um same as if i was paying people expected to come here and see my mitzi br and i did a flower they'd be like oh so that's that's the feedback I got <laughs> so I've split everything up it's same with my websites as well I've got I have to have two websites one for my other art one for this type of art just so people don't get confused I'm like a schizophrenic painter <laughs> 
so yeah so that it's working out better like that and um it, it's um sort of split it into even though i'm the same person or am i maybe not anyway thank you so much for joining me please give us a thumbs up maybe i should put a link in my description like yeah i should do i'm going to rewrite my description and put it all up on the things with the proper links to things and i've got a patreon for my watercolor art this month is um christmas <laughs> You get hands out and printouts and close-up photos of stuff and a photo to print. And it depends what tier you join. And on my Mitzi B one, you get a zine, 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 and things and classes and everything like that. So, um, yeah, go and have a look. I think there's links. I need to sort my links out because um, I've sort of updated everything as what I've been doing in preparation for next year. So, roll it out. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, everybody, and I will see you on Wednesday. Take care. Bye. Bye.